It is the another part of Tapper series. In this tutorial, we will see how we can retrieve multiple result sets from the database with the help of Tapper. Of course, it is a Tapper series. If you find this video helpful, then hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe this channel to get more videos like this and feel free to leave a comment if you have any query. So let's get started. So here we have this project which we are working and so I'm going to remove this guy. Now here we have two, two tables. So let's write here select asterisk from book and select asterisk from Zandra. Okay, that's good. And here select asterisk from book. Or uh, it would be more right if I write it like this. Okay. Oh, very good. So here we have these two result sets. Let's see how we can retrieve these result sets from our sp.net core project with the help of Tapper. So I'm going to go here in this project and we have this book repository here here we are going to define a method so i'm going to just type here public oops i guess here and here public async and async task and what it will return it will also return the tuple which will have two collection first one it's first one is zandra and second one is i enumerable book that's it and let's name it get books something like that get get multiple that's it now what i'm gonna do here i'm just gonna copy this thing paste it here again okay we are good now so now we are going to write here var multi equals to await connection dot multi query multiple async and here we're gonna write the query so i'm gonna write query here so string query equals to and i'm using this as direct sign here so that we can write our query in multiple lines so i'm just gonna copy these queries and i'm gonna paste them here so let's do it like this and let's move it here now we are good so let's pass the query here okay and it does not take any parameters just command type equals to command type dot stored procedure it is a reader sql what it is sql mapper dot grid reader so we can also write it sql reader dot actually what it was i just forget var sql mapper dot grid reader sorry sql mapper dot grid reader and why i'm doing this so that i can use using keyword here and it might cause some memory leaks so that's why i'm using the using keyword here to automatically dispose the this reader okay now we can get the value from the reader so just take Sandra and sandras equals to multi dot 
multi and why I'm not multi dot read here and to list so before that I have to put here Zandre and to list we'll do the same thing with author author sorry not author book book and here we will write books so that's it and we will return Zandre's books that's it and just copy this guy and paste it in the interface okay we are good now so now we can move here and i already have created this controller so i will uncomment this oops here i'm gonna uncomment this guy and we are fine so we are basically calling this get multiple method here and we are using this destructuring to get genres and books from here and returning an anonymous object which is returning genres and books so let's run this guy so i'm gonna go here and just gonna run this so here we have this method multi so just try it out execute and hope for the best so again i have an error here and which is not detailed one so i'm gonna put breakpoint here and just run this guy again so let's run it now let's see what is happening here so now it's saying database select hashing from dbo does not exist make sure that this name is entered uh, correctly okay so i guess i have to move it from here the dbo part dbo dot sunray and i don't know why it is giving error select asterisk from sunray and select asterisk from book again in the catch exception and here could not find the stored procedure select okay uh, now i got the problem here it is not the stored procedure it is just a command type text so i can put this dbo back and command type dot text i think it should be okay now let's run this guy again I'm hoping that it is completely okay right now so let's go here and yeah we are good now so here we have list of sunrays and list of books and we are completely able to fetch two record sets from the database so that was all about the dapper with multiple result sets and that's it for now see you next time